out here in the garage again. Um, got a, another new project that was on hold because I didn't get brushes for the starter. Um, so, got yeah, some fan assembly for R Z Moline. Makes a lot of heat, but it sure is noisy. Anyway, uh, yeah, fan assembly for R, Z, Z, A, Z, B, whatever. Um, and there we go. Um, this was sitting on the shelf. Uh, it had a small problem with it. Couldn't get this nut off because we'll get into that in a little bit. Um, anyway, there's actually a, a pin that goes through this shaft that's supposed to catch inside this slot to hold the shaft in place so you can get the nut off. Um, had a little trouble with that, so I had to get a hammer and a small punch and drive out what was left of what appears to be maybe a cotter pin that was used soft metal pin um, anyway I got that drove out far enough that it would catch uh, a little bit applied a little heat from handy dandy propane torch and we got the nut off now get on this tight look at that oh, crap. there we go got the nut off washer bracket the lot part there's a big spacer that goes in there um, and then over on the other side, there are four bolts. I already had this thing all apart, um, but I'm not real good at editing. So I come out here and do my thing, and then yeah, we'll come back and make a video. Anyway, four bolts. Hang on. One more. I think my Uncle Ray used to say he might not do good work, but at least I'm slow. Anyway, that lets the Band blades come off. There's a thin metal plate here that covers. Shaft comes out. There is a brass rust washer that goes on there. I'm not sure looking at that that's actually the right one. But anyway, and then there's just a brass bushing inside that runs. A, and for lubrication, I still haven't figured this out. From what I was told, you would basically just take, there's a, I don't know if you can see that or not, I can't, there's a, a screw right there, flathead, like pipe plug kind of thing, that comes out and you would just fill the cavity in there where the bushing goes with like 90 weight oil. I don't know if this bushing's been replaced, I, I don't know how the oil gets from inside the cavity into the bushing because that goes in there, which would, uh, I don't know, I'm thinking maybe there should be a hole in that. I, I don't know. I'm going to have to go to the books later. But anyway, got all that apart. Um, went to the local hardware store tonight, did a little digging around, and found out that they had some brass thrust bearing washers in stock. Um, two different outside diameters and uh, two different thicknesses. I like this one better for replacing this. My thought is we'll put that on there and then that completely covers the head of that. So when this goes on, it's got plenty to ride against and then I'm either gonna use, I think that's that skinny one because the shaft has a has a step in it. That that collar rides against. And that collar tightens up against the bracket. And then that's what controls kind of your in play. Is how much room there is between whatever thrust surface you have here in this. Because this is solid. And that, so anyway, my thought is, let's see how this works out. I don't know how that. Or just pull across the garage. Put that on there like that. It really looks like a mustache. Let's see if I can do that 
Jesus. Come on. Oh, yeah. I fish the other pretty good. There's just a little bit in play. I like that. I, like that a lot. I guess I'm going to go back together with it. Um, also, in the process of taking this apart and cleaning it up, do the manual, fill manuals in. Um, you can see that this. Let me turn. Huh. I've, I've already cleaned this up with the wire wheel, and I just noticed that I hear on the edge of this piece is actually got the part number stamped, to, stamped into it RE5680 A. Anyway, this big metal, metal collar is welded to this shaft, and I noticed. I don't know if that's, that's going to show up or not, but the weld is broken. So I'll come back later with more video, but I'm probably going to take this over across the wasteland over to here where my big disc sander's at. And, uh, Clean that mess up, grind it, grind it down a little more flatter. Uh, might put some kind of a stone in the, um, yeah, die grinder and be it out or something. I don't know. And then we'll we'll go over to the uh, over to the other side of the garage where the welder's at and uh, get that bad boy welded back together. But uh, so gonna weld that. That has this back together. I did get a new roll pin to go through that hole. Probably going to try and run a drill bit through it because this side of the hole is a little dinged up. And I'll have that fixed back up. Uh, I think I'm going to take all these other little bits, um, clean them up. I haven't decided. I think what I really want to do is, is go ahead and uh, get them all of these little bits. You know, my sandblast cabinet over there. Um, get them all blasted up, cleaned up. And just like the carburetor I was working on, uh, get a coat of, good coat of primer and paint on those. Oh, try not to drop you while I'm doing this. I go ahead. So, another project for later this evening, I think. Um, an issue I've got with this sandblast cabinet the air filter that goes right there granted my sand is probably worn out and that's causing some of my issues you can, you can see all this real fine powdery stuff that came out of the filter it uh, it plugs up real quick so I blast a little bit and bang on the filter a little bit and blast a little bit I think I may try and come up with a way of getting a, a bigger better filter element on that um, and in a better way so when I put my little shot back on there this hose is considerably let's see if I can do this one handed the film smaller than the inlet of the filter so I usually end up taking something and wrapping around the hose and cramming it in there so I want to try to come up with some kind of better flange adapter or something to like, hook the, the uh, shot back up to the blaster cabinet um, yeah, it's not real expensive, it's not real fancy. It works, it does what I need to do. So, and, uh, yeah, what I really probably should do is take that worn out sand out and put this new bag of sand in. That'd probably speed up some of my sanding, but I'm too cheap to throw it out just yet. It's not completely worn out. It's getting close though. So, anyway, that's what I'm working on tonight. It's probably going to work on cleaning up sandblasting the blades and the mounting bracket and the hub and uh, maybe try and drill out the hole in that shaft and uh, see if we can get that stuff kind of put back together a little bit probably sandblast the bolts that hold the fan blades on get the blades you know get all that done maybe later depends on how that goes bring that carburetor back out here start putting it back together not the paint's dry 
Yeah, and this being way over optimistic about having any time to do body work on these fenders. But anyway, that's where I'm at. Well, I'll be back.